Peace, family. Now, today I wanted to talk to you guys about <clears throat> some documents you should place on public record just to start off with, okay? And then we'll work our way up. I'm probably going to do about mm, 10 documents, and then I'm going to talk about each one, all right? But first, disclaimer. This is not financial advice. This is not legal advice. If you're looking for financial or legal advice here, I highly suggest you seek out a financial advisor or legal counsel immediately. Okay, family. Now, these documents that I'm going to talk about in this video, I'm going to break down in a series, okay? That way you know exactly kind of like what they are and how you can use them in your pursuit to utilizing these for leverage, okay? Bullets in a gun. All right, now first we want to start with the affidavit reservation of rights, okay? You have to reserve some kind of rights in order to utilize these rights, okay? And I'll break that down later. Next, the affidavit of truth. Now, I don't want you to get confused with this affidavit of truth with the other affidavits that you create when you're trying to discharge debt, okay? The affidavit of truth is just basically statement of facts uh, presenting who you are, okay? Next is your affidavit right to travel. Now, your affidavit of right to travel is literally that. It's your right to travel. And I'll break that down, okay? Later on, more videos to come. Okay, next will be your fee schedule. Now, your fee schedule is how you're going to hold these uh, entities and these servants accountable to you when it comes to how they choose to deal with you in commerce, how they choose to deal with you in law, how they choose to deal with you in any manner that you see fit. There are fees to each one of these scheduled events that may occur and you'll have it on public record. So when it does occur, you now have a means of remedy and payment to you. Another one is your common law copyright. This is where you're commonly copywriting the name that was given to you at birth. Okay? Very powerful document. Next one, power of attorney. If you don't have power of attorney to speak on behalf of your name, you can't do anything with the family. Very powerful document as well. Another one is a deed poll. A deed poll is what you're utilizing when you want to adopt certain social compacts like the Declaration of Independence, constitutions, things like that, that you'll be able to use because you'll test to them, including the Bible. That's in there too. I'll break that down as well. Another one would be your affidavit of competency, letting them know that you are competent and able to handle your own affairs. All right, family. Now, just be on the lookout for this next series. I'm going to be dropping them and it's going to be more, but this is just a general breakdown. I hope this helps, family. I love you. Peace.